Hello. Hello and welcome to my newest video, my Broom room makeover. makeover. Um, I'm just gonna get right to it. And this was my, this is my dream room. You know, white desk, white walls to make the room really bright. So that was my inspo. But with my current room, in order to achieve that, I had a few projects in store for me. So right off the bat, the first thing that I had on my list was to either replace or paint all of my furniture white. So the first piece of furniture that I'm planning on painting white is my biggest piece of furniture that I have in my room is my shelf. Second one is my little side tables. And then the third one is my table, which I wasn't really too keen on painting. So what I had in mind instead was to maybe sell my desk and then replace it with a new white desk. Finally, Finally the biggest job of all was to paint all of my walls white. So let's, let's get, get started. I had absolutely no time to spare. It was the second day of holiday and I got started right away. I started painting with I started painting my shelf and as you can see it was a little blotchy but to be fair it was my first layer and there was a lot more layers to come. And while I was painting I you know I was blessed with this beautiful view um, to keep me motivated. To be honest, I don't think I would have been painting outside if it went for that. I mean, wow, gorgeous. And um, I had a nice lamp for a light source, obviously. And my hands were filled with paint. I mean, like, I don't even know how I got that right. I mean, it's the paint on the brush. And here I am being so proud of painting my first piece of furniture. It's, it's my baby. I love it so much. And then I just got into work right away. Um, right now, you can see that the blotches are like, I mean, they're like the translucent blotches are really going away with that second layer, which is looking really good right now. And oh my goodness, after all that backache, I think it's going to be 110% worth it at the end. There's my little dancey dance. No toes allowed. <laughs> but doing this project was really fun. I mean, I had nothing else to do anyway, so why not do my room makeover and, you know, go above and beyond and paint my furniture you know it was and it was fun it was an experience now i can tell people yeah i've painted a shelf before at this point i was getting really hungry and i had some of my mama's delicious seaweed soup which i gobbled up like a goblin it was delicious oh my god and this is like the most satisfying part ever of painting oh, so, so satisfying. satisfying is pouring out the paint and if i saw this even knowing that it was paint i would still eat it I may or may not have eaten it. You would never know. It just looked that good. And there's the view from if you were laying on my bed and watching me do my work. <laughs> Honestly, that's a little weird to be honest. You weirdo. And I'm too short to reach the top, so I obviously had to use like a little, a little stool. And here's how the room's looking like right now with the shelf in it. Like all of my books were laying on the floor. I don't know where they are here now, but. I mean, look how cozy that bed is too, but that's gonna change very soon. It's not gonna be so cozy anymore for the next two days. This is the second day, day two. The second layer has finally dried and the shelf is looking really good. The only thing that I was a little worried about, oh, I like the birds, <laughs> was that it would rain soon. So I was a little scared for that. Day two of painting my shelf, going really well. And here's a gorgeous ASMR, you can't hear it because there's music that could be copyrighted in the background. But you can enjoy me just peeling off the paint off from the painting thing. Thumbs up for me. Oh my goodness, I was done already? That must have meant, okay, I forgot to film the rest. But here we are, decorating the shelf finally. And here's my cute little toys. toys. I love these little Lego sets. I bought them, they're not actually Lego sets by the way. Lego's a brand, but I mean... Plastic blocks. There we go. It's my favorite thing ever. I mean, just look at me showing off all my... My favorite. Yoda. I was once obsessed with these. I still am. I, when I was in Thailand a few years ago, I bought them with all the money that I had. And this is what my room looked like at the moment during low chilling oh. with the shelf. <laughs> and oh my goodness, it started raining the day after I finished painting. My new desk, it had finally arrived. <laughs> One problem though, I still have my old desk. <laughs> yeah, I've got to get rid of that soon. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 
and uh, right after I finished painting myself, the windows were finally installed. So that was something to be excited about as well. Whoa. And shoving into that corner was the most satisfying job of all. It looked perfect and I was so happy. I mean, look how happy I was doing my little dance dance. Um, the only problem was, was I had to move my shelf a little because I had like a storage container thing that had to fit next to my desk. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm too weak for this. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter which side I try. So I had to just take all the books out and then rearrange it at the end, I guess. Yay! And there we go, I got it moving again. See, it's not too bad. Not too bad, not too shabby. Now the moment of truth of whether or not it'll fit. Yes, it fits! Perfectly. And now I just had to rearrange everything. That went fine, really smooth. Oh my goodness, and let me tell you a little story. This is little four-year-old Tanya's hands. Oh my god, look how much I've grown. My mom made that for me, it's so cute. Here's the bare desk, waiting, just waiting to be decorated. And along the desk on the walls, I'm planning on pasting some posters and printouts to make it really aesthetic and cute. Oh, here are my last goodbyes to my old desk. A lot of tears and, you know, study nights up to 2 a.m. I'm gonna miss it so much. Psych! Now, operation two of painting all the furniture white I'm going to paint my side tables white. It's gonna be a big operation. I was hoping for it to take maybe, you know, a maximum of two days again, but since my <laughs> my shelf took more than two days, my hopes were really low. So I don't know how long it would take me to be honest, but you know, I was, oh, <laughs> okay. It seems I'm really happy to do so. And here I am carrying it downstairs. Hello there. And getting ready to paint it. You know what, I'm not gonna film the rest, just transition. <laughs> Boom. Boom! And now we're outside, getting ready to paint it, which is not gonna take two days and a little bit more, maybe not, but let's see. Always have time for dawn breaks. I mean, why not? Oh my goodness, these tables were blinding to the eye. Oh I mean, my eyes! <laughs> oh, oh, my dad came. He, he came to visit, to help out. And here's the final result. It only took me one day and I was done. So happy, so, so happy. happy with the results. And here's little Pepsi coming to visit me. Pepsi. Pepsi. She couldn't care less. To be honest, she just wanted to chill in her bed because it was hot. So I don't, I don't blame her. <laughs> I feel like I was in her territory. I, I felt bad, but I love her to bits anyway. Now it is time for the last operation, which was painting the walls white. By far the most difficult thing to do of all. I mean, I've watched YouTube videos, I've watched TikTok tutorials. All of them told me that it would be really easy. Don't get me wrong, it was easy, but I, you know what? They encouraged that it was gonna be easy, but it wasn't that easy, okay? It was time consuming. It was difficult. Maybe it's just me. If you've painted walls before and you think what he's talking about was so easy, it was difficult, it was tricky. Part of it was, difficult because i was lazy okay that's the main reason as to why it was so difficult for me because i just wanted to get it done and it wasn't like just a side table it was four walls that i had to get done anyway i had to paint the corners first so that i would get those crisp edges and then after i was done with the corners i would paint the main walls and then once i was done with the main walls that's only the primer i had to make i had to paint two layers of like undercoat first sorry not primer undercoat and then after that, paint the walls with the actual paint. And I, at this point, had already, I think, covered everything with tape on the corners. And after I would be finished, it would look great. And I would peel them off and then I would be done. And everything, as you can see, the setup, I put plastic bags all around the room so that I obviously wouldn't get paint on the carpet. And then I pushed all of my furniture to the center of the room so that I once again, obviously we wouldn't get the paint onto the furniture. And my initial plan with the plastic bags to avoid, you know, wasting plastic was to use it, you know, without cutting it to not make it as, to like not make it bigger so that I could reuse them. But 
if I'm gonna be honest with you, at the end, taking the tape off everything off from the um, the plastic bags, it ripped the plastic bags. So if you're planning on like painting anything, rather just cut it so that it could be bigger and you could use more of a surface area instead of wasting a bag. You know what I mean? So that was my plan at first, but because of the tape, of the stickiness and like me being really angry, <laughs> Just to get like get it done and over with I ripped the plastic bags and I couldn't reuse the plastic bags So that was such a bummer, but um here. I am just showing like the before um, Before the you know before the after the how my room looks like before the beige I mean, it's not a bad color, but I'm not a big fan the room could really get brighter if it were right okay. All of the edges just to get a clean crisp edge and then go in with the big large stick roller thing and i don't know if you can see it through the camera but just look how much brighter the white is in comparison to the beige like obviously it's much brighter but i mean if it's like for the whole room it will make so much of a difference it'll look similar to like the roof so yeah okay now on with all forgetting all the you know, the blabbering about painting i'm just gonna get started and go ahead and actually paint Oh, oh wow. wow! I think this is a better clip to show you just how much of a difference it makes. Like the white is just, it's serving so much better than the beige. I'm loving how it looks. It looks so much brighter and better. It looks much better. And at this point, once I'm finished with painting all the edges, oh our bees, my bees! <laughs> I'm gonna get, oh there we go! After painting the edges, I'm gonna paint the wall. Oh wow! Look at the rainbow effect. That's Wow, that's pretty darn cool. I never noticed that. And look how much brighter the room looks. It looks so much better. Oh my goodness. Just watch just replaying this just brings me so much joy. I was so I'm I still am. I am so happy as I'm recording this in my room. It looks great. It looks so much brighter. And honestly, the room looks bigger in my opinion. It looks bigger. Yeah, I know. And that wood color like the reddish wood color and the white it looks really good and since i'm done now after three four days um, i'm gonna peel off the tape so get ready for another <laughs> okay um i hope you enjoyed that because wow i really i enjoyed watching that just now Whoa. okay all i've got to do now wow I'm, I'm still sleepy from that is remove the plastic bags and hopefully not rip them which i did most of them there we go plastic bag free however there is one problem there are a few flakes of paint on the floor which i just gotta easily vacuum up get rid of clean up and then after that, I'm going to rearrange the furniture away from the center, which was not very nice to sleep. Okay, well, to be fair, the comfort was a 10 out of 10. It was just the fumes of the paint was just not the best. And I had to keep the, the balcony doors open. And all I heard during the night was like the doors like banging. <laughs> so the final, final results. Result. And here we go. The final result after it had been decorated and rearranged. 
I'm honestly so happy with how it turned out. This is my dream. And I've worked so hard to achieve this. And I hope you like it as the viewers as well. Um, yeah, I know. So proud of myself. Here's a little, a little tour of the desk. Yeah, my desk setup. It's cute or whatever. And then my posters and my whiteboard with my, you know, my little notes to my New Year's resolutions. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, oh wow, that scared me. I really en I hope you enjoyed watching this because I enjoyed filming this and I enjoy the process and everything. Here's just a final look at how it looks like. Very happy with how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I worked so hard on this, so please subscribe and like the video, bye. Well, this was one of the longest videos I've ever posted. One of the longest videos I've ever filmed and edited. So I have worked very hard on this. So please, if you can, if you want to, please, please do. Please. Subscribe, subscribe, baby. Like, like the video like the and comment your favorite pink flavor. Oh, oh, oh uh, please share. Please share the video, please.